Greetings, minions, galactic survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Empyreon Galactic Survival Alpha 6.5.1, and this is episode number 40. In this episode, we are going to make use of the new mining turret to dig up some iron, which we need to continue to armor plate the base, but also eventually to armor plate up the chubby bunny as it were. <coughs> excuse me. So, without much more jibba jabba Can't see squat with that thing in front now, but hey, it's all good. Um, where is our iron deposit? Right over there. So... The hell? I don't like the setup for this. Where did I go? I swear they need to make this a little more efficient because I, I right click or I'll click like that and it, it it's a mess. Alright, so let's head towards... Whoa, okay, let's... Wow, this thing is a little bit more movier than it used to be. doesn't have all that dead weight in the front. Okay, so let's get up here, do some iron mining with the new drill turret. And down we go. Actually, since we're here, let's drill turret access. Whoa ha ha ha. Melts like butter. Pretty good spot cleared out here. It looks like it's kind of sucking the ship in a little bit, which is kind of good. Until it gets all caterwampus on us. Alright, let's make this a little more deliberate, shall we? And just drop it right down. I want to be in on an angle so that the Jill turret has full access or full range to uh, go after the ore material down here. Otherwise, it's too low below the horizon of the the turret mount. This deposit's almost cashed out anyway. Kind of shooting out is out to the maximum range of this thing until they can't really pick up anymore. Very nice. 
drill this? Well, tough. I'm trying to drill it anyway. <laughs> Pushing the limits of the range on this thing. It's starting to slow down as to what it's clearing away. So we'll just hop up a little bit, move forward, try to stay latched to the wall here. Go back in. I think we could probably get this whole deposit in one one fell swoop here. There's really not all that much left to it. And we're picking it up pretty damn quick, so it kind of makes it nice. But we have to kind of be careful, too, because uh, the positioning is kind of iffy. If I get it wiggle butt back. There we go. Up, 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 up. Stay down. No, 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 no. Ah. And let's see if we can shuffle it that way a little bit. Because it doesn't want to reach up right. Damn it. Come on. Alright, maybe we can That wasn't good. That was not good. Alright, we'll just try to leave it right here, I guess. Well, we need to shuffle it sideways, like so. Come on, wiggle your ass. Wiggle that butt. There we go, there we go, there we go, okay. So we've got a stable spot to sit on. where it gets painfully complicated. And I might have to do this with the uh, hand drill. Yeah, it's not going to reach it. That's fine. It's just a small little detail.
almost got it all. Almost. Those little, little dots up there. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get every square inch, I don't think. Or am I? I think that's going to be have to be good enough, because I think this deposit is pretty much done. Yeah, it's not even on the map anymore. Haha! <laughs> Excellent. That should be more than enough iron to get future jobs done. So... If there's trace amounts, it's negligible in quantity, so... Oh, come on, stop doing that. And free. Alright, so I don't even know how much we got on on our person as well as on or in the uh, uh, harvesting cargo box. But we shall find out in just a little bit. Excellent. Alright, so on me I have 50 iron, not too bad. Now let's get on the other side here. Yeah. 803, it's pretty dang good. That's pretty much the entirety of that deposit. So we can drop that in. Uh, let's make... Try for a thousand of this, or thereabouts. No, I don't need that much. Yeah, hold on. We'll go like that. That'll work. All right, so now we're just gonna wait for that to grind out. And while we're waiting, let's see. We got windows. We got roof. We got that one block there. Let's see if we can just kind of nip that one. While we're here, anyway. And wait for the jump thingy to recharge. That's much, much, much better. Okay, so while we're waiting for all of this to get processed, which will take a spell. Let's go and do some resource gathering of the local area for experience. So we'll see about killing things, grabbing things off the ground, and uh, yeah, just stuff to keep us busy. It's not all necessary stuff, but experience is necessary. Very, very important for the uh, advancement of the game. And we get a lot more experience from critters. But these are easier, more consistent to find for the most part. You can spot them from a great distance, anyway. Alright. Oh, there's something to eat, or grab, whatever. It was like corn, apparently. More fiber. All right, can we find some trouble to get into? This trouble is fun. Deposit this stuff. Yeah. There we go. Oh, 
Yeah, putting the EVA suit on and then having the, the uh, jetpack doesn't quite cut it. Let's see, what are we at now? I gotta say, it is getting quite warm in this room right now. It's like 7, well, 20 minutes to 8 at night. Usually I'm doing other things, but uh, I figure, well, hell, I might as well get all these episodes for the week finished. Alright, that worked out pretty good, so... It doesn't go up any higher than that. Alright, so let's see that... 250 points versus a thousand points. Yeah, you know what I'm going for. Okay, so all the windows are now upgraded. There are a thousand hit points each. And those are, uh, combat steel blocks are 2,000 hit points each. So it's not too bad. You're kind of trading off half of the hit points for visibility, which is not even completely necessary, but you're gaining a big deal, so um, I'll take it. All right, so I don't think we're going to need much more of the glass. So we'll just ditch those. Take as much of this as we can and try to finish up the roof. Just ran out of hardened steel, so there should be plenty in in there now to finish this job up. Yeah, I'm pretty well. Let's get at least another stack of ten plates, anyway. There we go. That should finish it up. In fact, uh, we could probably do that from under here. And I'm out. Ha! <laughs> Should have waited for another, like, 20 or so. That's fine. We're right down to the last two blocks anyway, so it's all good. And we got the block underneath the turret, which is important. <coughs> now, I think, yeah, I'm going to need to get a, a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's getting a little bit dry. <coughs> So what I need to do now is get the uh Oh what what's the term for an enclosed room for the storage of explosive materials. It begins with a C, it's like casement or something like that, but anyways we need to get um this wrapped up so it's protected. There. 
So basically that's armored up to protect that. So that's all good. We can kind of do the same here, I guess. It's not as uh, big a deal there, but uh, we'll get it all in due time. So let's see what else we got in here. Alright, let's uh... top those off. Alright, what else can we do here? Because we kind of accomplished a heck of a lot in really a little bit of time, so I'm kind of amazed at how well that worked out. So we'll just kind of do some little things, I guess. So we'll pop these in. This stuff away. There we go. That'll work. Okay, excellent. Okay, so what do we got up here? So I really want to start building these stacks up. So we might have to do some loot runs or do some exploration of other planets but the one but in order to get to other planets we're going to need pentaxic crystals which we can get on the moon um, but in order to make use of them we're going to need a CV with a warp drive so that we can get to those other star systems let's take a look at what we got here? What's that? Oh, the hydrogen generators. Okay. Um, so we have to kind of unlock these to get to the other planets. But there's other planets out here. Uh, I'm thinking the best route is probably to go to Omicron and then whatever is out here, or and then out here to I think it's Masperon is out this way. So we need to unlock th those. But in order to do that. We have to start at the very beginning of our ne needs list, and that would entail having a CV. So we're going to need to get more iron, more cobalt, more copper. Let's see what our stocks are of that. Um, yeah, I want to have at least 999 of each. Um, I'll have to go up into space again and probably get more sathium. Uh, let's see. Gonna have to get more magnesium in, in in time. But these here I'm gonna have to get much more of so I can really get things going with the, the um, exploration. And hmm, what else is there? So we got this armored up. We'll have to armor this deck up. In fact, I know what I can do right now while we have a little bit of time. Hopefully I have all the resources for it. And if not, well, I'll have to figure something out. Uh, we'll turn this off. We'll reduce this. There. And then what we need to build, or I want to build, I should say, See, we've unlocked type 2, so I need one of these. And it requires four power coils. Jeez, and we got six of them. These would require two. I think it'll be worth it. If anything, I can strip these off of the other bases in the area and get the power coils out of those to replace what I'm using up here. So let that one pop. Alright, so now... Um... Yeah, let's move this. 
this. About here in the center, we'll disassemble. Eh, close enough. So now, whenever we go uh, adventuring, we can be sure that the ship gets repaired. if it's got damage to it. Now, obviously, I think the ship is perfectly fine. Should be. Let me see the... Oh, I'm so used to the old way of things. Okay, it's at 100... Alright, this is the hit points. Okay, I was looking for this, but I'm, I'm used to seeing it in a different different way um, but yeah we are at a hundred percent hit points so this isn't gonna trigger off the repair systems but that's fine um, I'm probably not even positioned on it fully Now I am officially landed on it. Something solid connected to that circle. So if I land on there in the future after being damaged or hit by enemy fire, at least now uh, I'll have a means of having the entire ship repaired without having to track down individual blocks that may be dinged and damaged. And uh, that'll make things a lot easier, hopefully. And then I can also use it for the CV once I get that built. Um, in the future here. So, anyways, I'm thinking that's about it for this episode. Um, we'll have to do some loot runs to get more of those power coils so that we can make some uh, Type Threes for the auto miners. Right now, let's see. We need we need to get to level 20. That's the big, 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 big priority. Because that will unlock the fusion cells, that will unlock auto miners. Um, I don't think there's really anything. Whoa, drill module type 2 laser. That's a new one. I wonder if that's like a, a like point ahead only type of thing. It's not a turret mount. So that might be interesting. We'll have to take a look at that. Because that's, that's new. But there's but other than that, I'm not really, really interested in it. Except for just experimenting with it to see what it, it's capable of. Um, level 25, laser pistol type 2, plasma cannon. Yeah, so level 20 used to be the end. Now it's level 25. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, we've got... You know, we can just do that. Um, tools are maxed out pretty much, but we need to get get the fusion cells. We need to get the automator type threes because they really produce a lot better and have better storage limit, I believe. Um, not really a whole lot, in, you know, looking forward to for hover vessels, but you know, it's nice to have them available. Um, yeah, not really a heck of a lot for that. Let's see here. Drill turrets. Pulse laser turrets. The larger thruster blocks. Um, repair bay, which is nice when you dock SVs to CVs. But, um, yeah, level 20 is the big one. Let's see. A furnace, I've not seen that before, or in use. So, yeah, there's a lot of things, well, there's a few things, I should say, to clarify, that I'm looking forward to. Primarily, it's the, um, the fusion cells. Those will definitely go a long way for our space exploration. 
Um, but I want to get as much of that maxed out, get my skill, uh, levels maxed out as soon as possible so that we have everything available that we need to make a CV so we can do some real space exploration. But it's also going to require a lot of resources, particularly the high-end resources, Ascosium, Arrestrum, and then, of course, Sathium for the armoring. But uh, we'll get to those when we can, as we can. Anywho, that is it for this episode and this week. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. It wasn't too, too crazy. It wasn't too, too boring, I hope. But it gets, gets things done. So thanks again for watching. Do check out the links in the description box below. And particularly the, the links for other YouTubers that I have linked there. Uh, check them out. Subscribe to them. Let them know I sent you. And until next time, see you later. Twitch, Twitch. Have a great weekend.